a man linked to organized crime, is behind bars tonight. Now, investigators say he's likely responsible for the deaths of three Valley siblings in 2014. Uh, Channel 5's Carolina Cruz spoke with the victim's mom, and she talked about at least her thoughts on the latest arrest. We told you earlier this year about investigators working on the Alvarado family murders in Matamoros. The National Human Rights Commission investigators accused Matamoros city officials, Mexican Marines, and police at both the state and federal levels of lying. They claimed that those lies were an effort to cover up those 2014 killings, but today the family reacted. Four years of waiting and still no justice. That could be about to change. In October of 2014, four people were killed after witnesses say they were forcefully taken by armed gunmen. The gunmen were identified as belonging to Grupo Hercules, an armed security unit for Matamoros Mexican officials. Those killed included siblings Alex, Jose Angel, and Erica Alvarado Rivera. They were beaten and killed execution style. Their bodies were found in El Control, a colonia outside Matamoros, days after their disappearance. Hasta ahorita he estado luchando todos estos años para que sea justicia, porque yo nunca voy a dejar de, de seguir luchando para que sea justicia. Luis Alfredo Biasi was a top leader of Grupo Hercules, the group linked to the deaths. Biasi was arrested and charged with extortion and engaging in criminal activity. Creo que todavía les falta mucho más por pagar por todo lo que me hicieron, no solo a mí, sino a muchas familias que les quitaron sus hijos. The National Human Rights Commission says evidence points to Marines and the personal security detail of then Matamoros Mayor Norma Leticia Salazar Vázquez as those responsible for these killings. Alvarado says she won't stop until all those responsible for her children's death are behind bars. No solo por mis hijos, sino por todos que muchos padres se han quedado callados por el miedo. Yo no tengo miedo, siempre se los he dicho, no, no tengo miedo, voy a seguir luchando hasta el final. Alvarado says the murders didn't break her. Instead, she found strength to demand answers for all who suffered a loss due to violence across the border. Mexican authorities are leading the investigation in this case. Alvarado says she wants to know why this happened to her children. She says it's a question that she lives with every day but she hopes to find answers as this case develops. Reporting live in the studio, Carolina Cruz, Channel 5 News at 6.